Joe Pegg with Revival Boats here. We're at the 2015 New England Boat Show. Um, I'm going to take you through the brand new 2015 R242 Revalo. Uh, Revalo designed a boat with a deep 22 degree dead rise as well as high freeboard to be able to withstand rough seas and it's a Kevlar reinforced hull. Let's go take a look. Starting off here at the helm, Revalo designed an ergonomically designed helm with room for dual 12 inch screens, a glass windshield, uh, Revalo, Revalo also has storage compartments on the top here. The nice thing is you can store items and uh, without them sliding off when you hit the throttles. Also there's drains up there as well. On the dash we have a tilt steering wheel standard as well as hydraulic steering. All your switches are backlit rocker switches. So they light up at night to tell you the feature. It comes with a Clarion CMD7 stereo system which also has Bluetooth and Sirius radio. Um, the R3, uh, the uh, 300 uh, horsepower engine comes with a uh, command link plus gauge package. Uh, leaning post design here has a nice high comfortable backrest with the uh, ability to open up here with tackle storage inside the leaning post. Lots of storage underneath here. Uh, right, you also have a nice footrest here and easy access to your battery switch. We'll design the back of the boat for plenty of room for fishing. In the back, you have a fold-down transom seat, which opens up plenty of space here while you're fishing. A live well is conveniently located in the leading post, opens up with tension hinges that keep the lids open while you're retrieving your bait. The bait have uh, LED lights, all rounded edges of blue gel coat to help keep your bait alive longer. Lots of cup holders on this boat. You have two cup holders here, two at the helm, two in the front, as well as two in the back. As you get towards the back of the boat here, um, you also have a nice big cooler in the back of the boat. It's an insulated cooler which goes all the way across and it also has a divider so you can separate the cooler into two different coolers. So if you want to put uh, fish on one side or drinks or food, you also have insulated fish boxes in the bow of the boat as well. These are also equipped with tension hinges. The industry revolver has one of the best aft seat designs you'll ever find in any, any boat in this size category. It's a nice comfortable seat bolster padding, great for fishing, and when you're ready to uh, cruise, you lift the backrest, it deploys very easily with a nice high backrest, thick padding, with lumbar support. You can fit three adults back there. The back seat also opens up from the bottom here to give you excellent access to your bilge, something most manufacturers ignore. And it gives you great access uh, to everything you need to get to, all your pumps, battery charger, um, wiring and most of your electrical components. One of the key things Rubalo wanted to do and accomplish on this model was maximize every bit of cockpit space on the boat. What Rubalo did is it eliminated what most manufacturers do as a side entry door which takes up too much space. Rubalo actually did a forward entry head uh, door on this boat. It opens up from the front and it gives you a wide entry and inside the head you've got an optional vacuum flush or porta potty head with a light and it's got over five feet ahead. Oh, it also has a full-size fiberglass hardtop with integrated LED lights. The nice thing about the hardtop, it integrates into the frame of the console here, which maximizes the space on the side of the boat. Comfort was a priority on this design. Rabala designed a U-shaped seating area with nice high backrest and grab handles that go all the way around. You got nice thick 36-ounce uh, vinyl with uh, protective top coating over the upholstery. Uh, underneath each cushion are insulated fish boxes as well as a live well in the front of the boat. There's also a filler piece that fills in the center here and makes a full-size sun pad so if you want to lay out. Up front you have two insulated coolers which drain overboard. Also a full-size live well in the bow of the boat so now you have two live wells standard on this boat. In the floor, nice big storage compartment actually has a compartment where you can store a five gallon bucket. 